Hi everyone, I'm Jamie Shepard with Hazel and Ruby and today I'm excited because I'm going to show you how to make one of our new holiday crafternoon projects. This one is the holiday iron-on pillow and what I love about this is that it is so simple you can make this an upcycle an old pillow that you already have in a matter of like 10 minutes. So I'm going to show you first what we have in this kit. You have your iron-ons, we have the polka dot pillowcase. Polka dots are my favorite so I love this pillowcase, we've got instruction card um, that will give you the specific details, and then also the gold tassels. There should be four, yep, there's four of the gold tassels. We have our needle, um, or sorry, our thread, our needle, and then let me show you the different rub-ons. So we have created these in a way that you can layer them on the pillow. So it spells, um, may your days be merry and bright. Okay, so to get started, I am going to um, just iron my pillowcase so that it's nice and, and flat. And you want to do your settings of your iron on cotton, so that's going to be your, your highest setting. So you want the heat to be pretty, pretty warm. So we'll go ahead and just iron this pillow. So this is just a canvas pillow that irons on really, really easily. Alright, so next we're going to do, I'm going to lay out my design first just to make sure that I have it lined up where I want to. So um, I've got my two pieces and I use the dots as a measurement. So that looks pretty good to me. Um, there we go. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to do one at a time. Um, I'm going to take the parchment paper and place it right over the top of my iron on. And then what I'm going to do is just go ahead and slowly iron this. So you're going to do this for about uh, 30 seconds or so just to get it nice and, and warm. I'm going to give it one last little bit of pressure here just to make sure and then I'll go on to the next one. So like I mentioned, we need to make sure that it cools completely before you take that off. So we're just gonna move this one up and then I'm gonna add my next iron on. Put my parchment over top and we do this because this plastic will tend to curl when it gets too hot so the parchment gives it a little bit of a, you know, a barrier protection. Go ahead and just place your iron and get over in the whole entire design. Um, we just want to wait for that to cool completely before we pull off the iron-on design and then um, if you, when you do start to pull it off, if you see little bits of, like right now I can already see it coming out, so I'm going to give a little bit more um, heat right there to make sure that that design, so just give it a little pressure, a little extra heat um, in spots that you can already see maybe not or quite as adhered down. Okay, we're going to let that cool completely and then we'll, we'll take it off. Okay, so now that we are completely cooled, we're gonna peel it off. So I'll just start with this bottom one here. And I would just do it slow, a little bit slowly um, because you know, even though it feels cool to the touch, it's probably not completely all the way cool. All right, so now that we've got this ironed on, um, it's nice and cool, the next step that we're going to do is go ahead and put on our tassels. I've actually already got three of them sewn on, but I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and thread your needle. Okay, so to start out, I'm just gonna go into the corner of my pillow and um, just do a little, just kind of a little tiny stitch, right, or a little tiny poke right through that pillow. Pull it all the way through to my knot, and then at this point, I'm gonna string in my tassel, and then I'm gonna pull it tight. And I'm gonna just hold it, just like this. So I've got my, the, the loop lined up with the edge of my pillow here. Because all I'm gonna do is simply just kinda keep grabbing the end of that loop until it's got enough tension with the, the string to pull it tight, okay? So I'm just coming around the front, sewing right through the back and through the middle of the hoop, and I will do five or six of these just to make sure that it's very secure. Okay, so now you've got that. You can see that the tassel's on there. It can move around very freely. Um, to tie off this, this thread right here, just go through the lengths of your stitches in the back and then through this hole to make your knot. And I like to do this a couple times just to make sure that it's very secure. Okay, go ahead and pull that tight. Then you're going to just simply cut that off and you've got your tassels. So now that I've got this all finished, I'm gonna go ahead and stuff it with my pillow. And I love this project because this is upcycling for me. So I'm gonna take pillows that I already have at home and just use something that I've got that I don't have to buy something new. And I can just upcycle it for the season and when I'm done, I can make a new cute pillow cover or just go back to what I had before. So just go ahead and stuff your pillow in there. Just go ahead and zip that up. 
And you have a cute holiday pillow. This, again, this is one of 10 projects for Holiday Crafter Noon. You can find the rest of them on our website at hazelandruby.com.